all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel welcome back to yet another video it's code breaker gaming back with another dead by daylight gameplay video and this ladies and gentlemen will be my rank one dvd build of the night yes you've heard that correctly i am a rank one dvd killer because i am outstanding with not just one killer but with all of them that I choose to main. So with that being said, we're gonna do a gameplay video tonight with a killer who is incredibly difficult to use. And because of that, people shy away from him. But as a rank one killer, I am stepping up to the challenge and I'll be doing my DVD build of the night with the Blight, a killer who is very popular among killer mains, those that have the patience to learn him that is but before we get into this gameplay I'm gonna run over the perks the add-ons and the offering I'm gonna be using for this particular build and give you a brief explanation of what you can expect to see during the gameplay starting off with perk number one for gen defense I'm going to be running the merciless storm this will be an important perk to run and it is one of the premier perks I use in my builds especially given the fact that the game just underwent a ridiculous gen upgrade that puts the killers at a disadvantage so for the merciless storm it makes it more difficult for survivors to complete generators once they reach 90 percent progress or higher every survivor working on that generator will get hit with continuous skill checks if they miss a skill check or if any of them stop repairing the generator before it's complete the generator will explode giving me a notification as to where they are and the entity will block it for 20 seconds that allows me 20 seconds worth of time to traverse the map make my way over to that generator find these survivors and wreck havoc on them okay now while I'm done wrecking havoc on a survivor one of them will no doubt only end up in a dying state when he does that will activate perk number two forced hesitation when a survivor is put into a dying state by any means all other survivors standing within a 16 meter range around them suffer from hindered status effect for 10 seconds which reduces their movement speed for 20 seconds this perk makes it a little bit easier for me to end chase sequences rather quick and get multiple hooks in rapid succession all right now when i pick up one of these survivors who have ended up in a dying state that'll activate perk number three the thrilling tremors and at that point all generators that are not being repaired by survivors are blocked by the entity and cannot be repaired for the next 16 seconds their auras will be highlighted in white so while I'm carrying this survivor to the nearest hook, I'll be keeping my eye out on the aura of all generators around me. Now, if I see a generator that has a red aura, that tells me that a survivor is working on that generator. So the moment I drop this survivor off on a hook, I'll be making my way to said generator to find my next victim. And then for perk number four, again for G-Fence, G-Fence, <laughs> I, should, I should dub that term, for Gen Defense, I'll be running the eruption now this perk allows me to charge every generator I damage or should I say when I damage a generator it becomes charged with eruption now eruption will take place when I put a survivor into a dying state all generators that have been charged with eruption will explode and lose 10 percent worth of their progress and start regressing and the beautiful thing is any survivor that is working on a generator when it explodes will scream and their aura will be revealed for 12 seconds. These perks are imperative because of the, the new gen uh, the new gen upgrade, which I really don't like as a killer main, but it is what it is. For the add-ons, I'll be running the Alchemist's Ring, which increases my rush duration by 20% for each consecutive rush. And we're going to combine that with the Summoning Stone. Hitting a survivor with a lethal rush attack will call upon the entity to block the pallets from being pulled down within a 16 meter radius of my location for 15 seconds for my at my offering you guys guessed it those of you who have been following me here on the channel for quite some time know this is my favorite offering to be running as a killer main I'm running that sweet Ebony Memento Mari this grants me the ability to kill all not one and not the last but all survivors who have reached their second hook state by hand during the next trial putting them at a disadvantage ladies and gentlemen that is the build the perks the add-ons and the offering with that let's ready up and while we're looking for a match for those of you who have not already done so please take this time to go ahead and subscribe to the channel make sure you turn on your notifications so you can be notified when I upload the next Dead by Daylight gameplay video and if you enjoy Dead by Daylight and other asymmetrical style horror games as much as I do 
do me a favor and tap the like button on this video leave a comment below and let me know how you feel about the blight and while you're at it you may be interested in also viewing the dead by daylight playlist located here on the channel it is comprised of over 165 videos dedicated to each individual killer in the game different play styles and builds so you can find the play style or build that is complementary to the killers that you have decided to make you may also be interested in checking out the Texas Chainsaw Massacre playlist where you play exclusively as Leatherface and his twisted family of cannibals as they attempt to prevent victims from escaping the basement lair of Leatherface and subsequently the compound to win the match. And lastly, you may be interested in watching the Friday the 13th playlist where you play exclusively as Jason Voorhees and different movie versions of him as he stalks different campsites looking to punish camp counselors who allowed him to drown in Camp Crystal Lake as a child. These are other asymmetrical style horror games that are often compared to and are very similar to Dead by Daylight. So if you love Dead by Daylight, you most certainly will love these asymmetrics. Give them a check out. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about each of those particular games. And we are now entering the matchmaking lobby and I'm gonna be honest with you guys I am not the blight terrifies me he is the most one of the most difficult killers in the game to use but as I've previous previously mentioned I am a rank one killer so I'm stepping up to the challenge yet again <clears throat> Combined with the nurse, I think these two are the two killers that I shy away from the most. But the DBD community seems to believe that they are the S tier killers in the game. And because I am dedicated to doing my DBD build of the night, I have to learn how to use them. I'm not going to brag and boast and say that I expect greatness in this match, but who knows? I'm doing this bare. No practice. I have spent some blood points to level him up. So hopefully, um, hopefully this pans out well. If not, I'm going to have a ton of you in the comments section saying, you don't look like a rank one killer. But let's see how this goes. Let's jump in. All right, we are at the Iron Works of Misery. <laughs> how ironic. Let the term misery is placed in here. Let's, looks like most of the gins are in one area. with eruption okay charge that one with eruption I'm not mad at that he ain't that bad He doesn't run that far. Yep. I'm gonna charge this one with eruption. And we know someone's over here. She went up here. She got hard boiled on. Put her ass down. Put her down. Just leave her on the floor. Just leave her there. Nobody's gonna come up here to help you anyway. Charge this one. And let's immediately get back down here. 
see, he has to slam into stuff. How did you miss that? You was literally right there on her. chance it because this guy's almost done over here. a gamble. Now, I'm, I don't know if I'm tripping, but my eruption didn't appear to do what I expected it to do. She didn't help her. Why didn't he hit her? Very difficult to, uh, hook. Hey, Nick Cage. She is, she's gonna get Nick Cage. And the moment she does, we'll get her. Wow, you missed that? We got eruption going. Hey, what's up, my guy? you were doing but if I get him to this hook while she's on it this is gonna be huge they popping gems on me though Get a healthy head start. 
It's almost like when you hit them, you give them a little boost. Hey. Shouldn't have missed that. Thought somebody was following me. Everybody's running hard boiled. They're not on any gin though. His attack is what makes him, uh... Get him. If I, can, if I play this right, I might be able to rush this guy. Oh no, that's a poor strategy. Nick Cage, that's a... I wanted to rush him, but he wanted to loot. So each time he slams, he gets rewarded. <laughs> And then you have to wait until he gets them back. generator all the way over there and I can close the distance he shouldn't have missed that attack he should not have missed that Take that extra hit. She's over top of me. Oh, she jumped down, and now she's going on this hook. she's doing why she was trying to blind me what you gonna do with that besides piss me off they're not on any generator yeah he needs to be able to run a little bit farther Not even over here. Charge 
Pops that up with a ruption. Put her down. Put her down. Yeah, I heard you. I think that's game. We'll pick her up and we'll take her over here first. Oh no. Oh no, we're not gonna do that. You know what it is. You already know what it is. Gentlemen, there it is. Let's see if we can get this damage real quick. We did. That's how a rank one killer plays the blight. And before you guys get a chance to hate on me, there's the receipt right there, rank one, as you can see, four iridescents. I am the man. Some of you may not have enjoyed the way I just played the Blight, but as I previously stated, this is a very difficult killer to be proficient with. I've only accepted the challenge because I am a rank 1 killer, and I wanted to show you all what a rank 1 killer plays the Blight like. Anyway, that was my DVD build of the night for those of you out there who main the Blight. I have all the patience in the world for you. For all of you out there who are considering maining the Blight, more power to you. This killer is not one of my favorites. You probably won't see a ton of videos on this particular killer here on the channel, but in keeping in the essence of my DVD build of the night, I have to go through all killers, and it was the Blight's turn. So if you enjoyed this gameplay video, smash the like button. If you main the Blight or have been thinking about using them, I invite you to copy the build that I just ran. Give it a try for yourself. Come back to this video, comment below, let me know how it works for ya. And yeah, YouTube also wants you to take a look at the video on the upper left hand corner of your screen or the lower right hand corner. They think those are the best videos for you to watch because you enjoyed this one. So yep, like, share, comment, subscribe, watch the next videos, and let's keep it pushing.